Welcome to Enterprise Software Engineering. Today, we're going to look initially at what do we mean by an enterprise application. And there are many kinds of definitions. But the first one that we'll look at here is that an enterprise application is a large software system platform. And that's the first definition, really. That when you consider an enterprise of um, any particular size, then it is very likely that they're going to have lots and lots of applications. And therefore, there's going to be many applications all providing useful information for the business. And one of the challenges of an enterprise application is to try to integrate all of those different and very varied applications that use common data to achieve um, a coherent um, application platform. Now, the thing about an enterprise application is that it is built for mission critical use cases. And we'll talk more about use cases as we go on through the module. But uh, the idea of mission critical means that each of these use cases add value to the business of that enterprise. So when we look at uh, enterprise applications, we are actually trying to integrate lots of computer systems that, that each one of which is addressing different facets of the enterprise's operations. And what we want to do is to facilitate the cooperation between those uh, different systems and the coordination of work across the enterprise. enterprise. And as uh, you can see here on screen at the moment, there might be lots of different departments within an enterprise, all of whom want to make use of uh, common data and uh, common use cases. And what we want to do is to generate or, or provide a coherent platform for all of these different departments within the enterprise. So we've got lots of examples of enterprise applications. Uh, as you can see here, uh, they uh, are very varied, all of which provide very useful information for an enterprise. Now, if we were to bring this into the university sector, uh, many of these kinds of applications you will already have encountered. And one of the common pieces of data that exists uh, or is used by all of these applications is that of student. Um, before a student can register, they need to apply. So they're an applicant and as as they join the university, they become a student. There will be tuition fees for that student, timetabling for that student, and so on and so forth. So here, there's a, a very good example of how we can have multiple applications within an enterprise, all of which want to make use of this common concept of student. And we don't want to have as many different definitions of student as there are applications. We want to have a single definition of student and then reuse that across all of those applications. Now, just looking at the university, we can see that we're going to need a lot more data than just student. And typically an enterprise application will have very large amounts of data, much of it being used across multiple applications. Not only that, but there'll be potentially very large numbers of users, all of whom will want access to that data, many of whom will be accessing it concurrently. And there will be different ways of accessing these applications through uh, desktop applications or web browsers or mobile apps or even external computer systems. And so that generates a whole load of security concerns as well as network issues. And all of this needs to be uh, resolved in a way that the complexity does not hinder the progress of the enterprise application. 
So as we design our enterprise applications, we're going to need to consider data storage, um, which will, of course, include concurrent access to that data. You don't want two users who are trying to access or update the same piece of data, uh, losing data because someone happens to get to the update before the other. We want both bits of update to um, succeed. The scalability means that as we get more and more users, then our enterprise application is going to respond to that in a, um, a, a suitable way so that there's no noticeable loss of performance and the user's experience doesn't change drastically. Um, we need to be able to extend our application in a way that doesn't require a huge rewrite of the application. So we, we need to design the applications with extending it in the future very clearly in mind right now. Security issues. You'll be familiar with having to authenticate, so username and password, for example, and being authorized to access certain parts of the application and not others. So having logged in, you might be able to, to perform one kind of um, use case, but not another because you're not authorized to do the second one. And we'll also need to think about architecture. And uh, we've got potentially non-homogeneous applications. In other words, there might be differences between those applications, such as one might be written in Java, another one in Python. Um, and those don't naturally go together. So we'll need to think about how we can communicate between these different kinds of applications.